Hello, this is Eric, and today I'll be doing a demo for Hex Inverter's Mutant Hot Glue. The Mutant Hot Glue is a four input mixer with an effects send paired with a distortion circuit and a high quality but simple to use compressor which can be routed for sidechain compression. I'm going to start with an overview of the module followed by some brief demonstrations to highlight the module's functionality, as well as give an idea of the range of sounds you can get out of it. Starting at the top of the module, we have the level controls for each of the four mixer inputs. Uh, the levels go from 0 dB, which is unity gain, and attenuate down from there. Because your rack tends to run very hot levels, it's useful to be able to attenuate the, uh, the inputs so that you can match uh, the level of any uh, weaker signal that you might bring in from elsewhere. Next row down, we have the send controls. So you can send again to a maximum of unity gain to the output of the effect send. The uh, return level is controlled by this return level knob. If you don't jack into this send output, the uh, mixer uh, inputs, which are controlled by these uh, send levels, are sent to the input of the distortion circuit and the output of the distortion circuit is normalized to the uh, return of the effects send and that again is, is controlled by this return level knob. Input A can easily be used as a source for uh, controlling your sidechain compression. You take the output from A and jack it into the sidechain input. A also has a toggle switch, which is useful for being able to uh, have in this position input A appear at the mix output as per normal, or depending on uh, the sort of dynamics you want from your sidechain compression, you can have input A completely bypass the uh, compressor and just appear at the compressor's output unaffected by the compressor circuit. Input uh, B has actually, it's actually two inputs which are controlled by the uh, single level and uh, send effects knobs. Useful for any dual output modules such as the mutant hi-hats. Inputs C and D are normal mixer inputs, uh, but they are summed together at this C plus D output useful for sending elsewhere in your system. Uh, if you jack into this, it doesn't break the connection with the mixer output. So you have just C and D appearing, but they will also still appear at the mix output. Your mix output, if you tap into it from here, uh, you get the uh, mixer without the compression. If you want uh, to use the compressor, the mix output is normalized to the input of the compressor and you would jack into this here. The section in gray here, you uh, may recognize or understand as sort of a reincarnation of the battery acid module that Hex Inverter did for uh, the sort of limited release of uh, I Dream of Wires. The uh, compressor controls are uh, gain makeup, a wet dry blend, uh, threshold control and compression ratio control. And then the two bottom knobs here are distortion amount and a wet dry blend. I've set up a simple patch to give you an example of uh, some of the range of sounds you get out of the distortion circuit. Uh, this distortion on the mutant hot glue is based off of uh, classic sort of guitar pedal distortion common in acid techno, uh, but in this implementation it's voiced more for synthesizers and drums rather than guitar. Here I've got the mutant bass drum coming into input A, and I'll blend and uh, give a return level here so we can hear the distortion. It's on the compressor output, but I've got no, uh, no compression right now. Turn up the distortion. You can go from 
have settled to quite extreme. And the amount, the level that you put in to the mixer can also change the tone quite a bit. Something very useful on the uh, Mutant Hot Glue is that the, both the distortion as well as the compression can be used independently of the mixer. If you want to patch something into the input, and just use the distortion circuit and take the distortion from the output. Here we've got a purple LED associated with the distortion amount, and uh, there's also a control voltage available to control the uh, amount of distortion that you uh, have on this circuit. Now, if you don't want to use the Mutant Hot Glue's distortion, we can take output from the send. Here I'm sending the uh, Mutant Bass Drum to a WMD Geiger counter. For some uh, bit crushing and sample rate distortion. Now, uh, something very interesting about Mutant Hot Glue is I could then uh, I could take the output of the WMD, patch it into the distortion, take the distortion, patch it into the return, and so uh, you can put uh, your series effects in uh, any order that you like. I could also do the distortion first and then have it go to the WMD and then back to the return. All right, I've got a relatively simple drum pattern set up with the mutant bass drum coming in on input A, mutant hi-hats on inputs B and B2, the mutant clap on input C, and the mutant machine on input D. Now I haven't applied any compression just yet. I've got the threshold and ratio set. The threshold adjusts the amplitude of the signal at which the uh, compressor will kick in, and the ratio adjusts the amount of compression which is applied once the compressor does kick in. Now uh, there's a three-way jumper on the back that allows you to set the attack and release times of the uh, Mutant Hot Glue compressor. Uh, Right now it's set to the middle one, which is 45 milliseconds. You can go uh, slower as well as a little bit faster from there, depending on where you set that jumper. I'm gonna blend this in and it'll sort of flatten the uh, volume dynamics out. And I can apply uh, some makeup gain to the overall signal to bring the level up. And you can really bring this level up. It goes up to uh, plus 40 dB. my mutant hot glue demo I'm going to uh, give an example of some side chain compression I've got another relatively simple patch consisting of the mutant bass drum as well as the mutant clap with a long reverb tail applied to it so uh, that you can hear the effect of the pumping I'm going to use the output a plug it into the side chain input the threshold will then monitor this input to see when to apply the compressor to the mutant clap. 
The uh, bass drum is going to go directly to the compressor output as per the setting of this switch. I'm going to dial this down until the effect becomes apparent here. For a little emphasis, I'll apply some distortion to that mutant clap. 